this, this, this fight, man, between Brian Norman and Boots in this is terrible timing. Terrible timing. Bullshit! Bullshit! Bullshit, 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 bullshit! Now, before you get mad, let me explain. If I tell you I'm good, probably you will say I'm boasting. If I tell you I'm no good, you know one line. <laughs> Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Dr. PGNGM. Praise God to get money back for another YouTube video. Banger, man. Yes, sir. Yes, baby. I don't know what time it is. The doctor's in the house, man. Check this out, bro. So we got a fight, you know what I'm saying, brewing up. You know what I'm talking about? I'm talking about seriously brewing it to the point where it's almost cooking and overcooked. You know, the way people have been talking about it and speculation around it, you know, regarding him dunking, him, him dunking, him ducking, or this person ducking, or that person ducking. Well, it seems like it's coming to an end, right? It's coming to a close, man. Or you could say it's coming to a beginning, right? Depends on how you look at it. You know, um, apparently, Jerron Boots Ennis. Uh, the IBF champion at the welterweight division, 147, and Brian Norman Jr., the the the, uh, the newly crowned champion of the WBO at 147, they seem to become that much closer to a unification bout. In fact, they have a date and a and, and a location, man. The location is Philadelphia, Boots' his hometown, and it's on November 9th, according to the deal that is being finalized right now as we speak, or very close to being finalized, man. So I think this is this is this is this is pretty good news, but I think this is this, this fight, man, between Brian Norman and Boots. And this is terrible timing. Terrible timing. Now, before you get mad, let me explain. Um, Brian Norman was just the underdog, right, against Giovanni Santilla when he became a champion in, in spectacular fashion, fashion, right? He went to his hometown, uh, Giovanni Santilla's hometown, and upset the, the uh, upset the um, Mexican fighter, right? And that was great, you know. But he, like I said, he was the underdog. He's 23 years old. He's just coming up. I would personally like to see him get a uh, get a a, 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 a defense. Yeah. At least get him a, a defense attempt at, at at his title. You know, that's just my personal opinion. But instead, he's going to fight against who's pretty much known as the best fighter in the division. You know, what I'm saying that being Boots Ennis. Now, I, I personally would, would, would um me personally, I would prefer for them to let this fight marinate. Look at you scared now, you hoe. Scared like a little white pussy. And potentially even possibly become a, a fight for in the future. That could be a super fight. That could be a, a p potential fight for Undisputed. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, apparently they want to fight now. And that's good. Because I know I, this this definitely refutes the, 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 the notion that anybody was ducking anybody. You know, we they just have to get terms approved. And they both want to fight each other, which I always thought. I just, just thought it was a miscommunication. And now they're fighting November 9th. This is great for Boxy Fest. So selfishly, you know, I want this fight to happen right now because it's way better than the IBF mandatory of Karen Chikadzian, who would be the... Uh, who would be who Boots will be fighting next according to the IBF that's who they ordered for him to fight next we definitely don't want that because he already beat him handily in the first fight now I'm not saying that fight can't happen later on in the future maybe like spin the block later but I would, I would prefer for Boots to prioritize unifying or fighting somebody else you know what I'm saying trying to unify against um Stanley Onis or Barrios or Norman or fight Connor Ben or somebody like that you know I'd, I'd rather see him do that as opposed to fighting his mandatory so him fighting um Brian Norman that definitely opens the door for me to be satisfied in that regard but me just think it is part of Brian Norman's team if he was if I was part of his team I would say let this fight happen later let it marinate because to me the risk severely outweighs the reward at this point moment in time at this current iteration of where they're at in their career you know what i'm saying but i'm not mad at this fight of course i think it's a great fight i think it's the best fight to be had in the welterweight division so bring it on but as far as i'm brian norman's team i don't think you should have this fight yet i think you should let this guy uh brian norman maybe maybe get one or two uh successful defenses first maybe he could fight the number one uh mandatory of his division and Shakram Giyashov, or maybe he could fight Alexis Rocha, who knocked out Blair the Flair. Woo! Cobbs. Maybe he could fight Blair Cobbs, or even let Boots fight Bear, Blair Cobbs. You know, be, in the interim be, between uh, their their fight between each other. But I just think this this fight is too early. I think we're rushing the young man. But hey, hey, pressure either bust pipes or make diamonds. Maybe Brian Norman to shine. You know what I'm saying? Then I'll be completely wrong. But me personally, I know, I know, I know. Contrary to what the the, the consensus is in the boxing world, everybody wants things now, instantaneous. In my opinion, I think it would behoove both of them. Not just, Boots as well, even though I think Boots would win uh, right now. I think he's currently the favorite. I think Brian Norman has a good chance, uh, but I think right now Boots is the favorite. But I think it would even behoove him to potentially wait and let this fight marinate and, you know, maybe try to unify with Barrio Stanionis or even Brian Norman try to unify with Barrio Stanionis and then potentially make this fight 
uh, for Undisputed or later on, you know, but I think it's a good fight. I would like to see Boots versus Stanionis or or, or or versus Barrios or, or Brian Norman Jr. versus Barrios or Stanionis, and I would like to see him versus each other, and it seems like we're getting that on the ninth, man. Y'all let me know what y'all think about that in the comments. Am I tripping? Should this fight happen right now? Should it happen yesterday? You know, or, or am I being too soft on him right now? But yeah, I think this fight should marinate, but y'all let me know what y'all think about that in the comments, but most importantly, remember we got, we can do anything without God or nothing. The doctor's out. Peace. From the hood to college, both worlds they had to meet Six degrees between us, so cold we're about to freeze But we're Florida boys, hot takes, we bring the heat We're moving the culture, the engineers to the streets